Hey everyone, this is an update on the cargo product here that I have. Um, thanks for cargo.menu. They're very good support. Uh, thanks to Kevin. He answers the phone quite timely. Or he gets back to you either by email or phone. Uh, so what I want to talk quick about this was that uh, by default the illumination that you have are the two USBs. Uh, they have dividers that come with the case itself. I've actually taken out of the, the, the case itself because I want to try to max out every product that's in here and make it visually seen. With the dividers that are in there, now again, this is just my preference. Uh, I've come across to show that um, in my car, I have limo tints on, so it's very dark in the car. Uh, I can barely even see my passengers in the back. So um, what I did was that I added an upgrade to this device. So with the default USB plugs here, with the dividers, because they're clear, they're see-through uh, transparency of dividers, the light, when it illuminates through, it shines light through the case. But it only shines like to so far. So then what I did is I took out those and I upgraded the lights in my device so that it can shine all the way through and it's an attention grabber because a lot of individuals are saying, hey, what is that? You know, there's very festive, very light, uh, you know. So another reason why my car is called Glow Car. Uh, you can find me on uberglowcar.com or liftglowcar.com as well as my iOS Genius main channel page. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and plug these two through my Mac. And you're going to see the illumination that it has by default without the dividers. If I had the dividers, uh, they're somewhere uh, in a storage uh, box. Uh, I've been kind of moving, so I've been putting things around. So um, we're going to turn on these two lights. We're going to illuminate that through my Mac here in the back here. We're going to plug that in, and then we're going to see the illumination is there. So what you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off the house lights as well as I'm going to turn off this computer, or at least put it to sleep and uh, so you can there's still some kind of light coming through the windows so let me turn that off now you should be able to see the usb ports i have a light back here uh, let me turn this one off okay so this is basically what they see this is what the passengers see and basically they cannot see past uh 6438 and the cargo dot menu so anything from the cargo dot menu blockage all the way up they are unable to see at all. So um, what I had to do, I had to enhance this because people did not know I had five energy bars, uh, five energy um, drinks uh, until unless they were in the front seat. So besides also looking up at cargo.menu, they can also see that I have five energy. But uh, some customers are nice enough that they'll tell me, hey, I can't see it. Do you really still have more? And I'd be like, uh, yeah, if it's on that web page, you'll be able to see everything that I have in stock. So what I've gone ahead and done, now this is only my preference. I only did this because uh, my car is considered a glow car. I have lights all through my car, in and out and so forth. And that's on another video you can link over and you can see uh, how I enhance my car uh, for entertainment pur purposes. All right, so this is my kitchen cabinetry where I have my cargo products in. And as you can see, my daughter have it all organized. She's very excited with cargo that menu. Uh, she even put the box here. <laughs> Do not touch from here on. And it's basically, it's all the cargo products that I have that cargo sent out to me. Uh, so then I have also, there's chargers there. There's Altoid. Ooh, actually, I'm running low on Altoid. Um, and then Skittles. And then they sent me this box recently. It's all my Cheez-Its, so if I go down here, uh, they gave me so many. Originally, when I got cargo, they only sent me like maybe 10 packages. Uh, those went out really quick, so they sent me another like 20 or 30. This goes about one, two, three, four, like five rows down. So that'd be like, uh, what, five times four? That's like 20 right there, so um you know but that's really good and the reason why she kind of did this not just to be funny but we do have friends that do come over and they want to look into our snack bar and then they're like oh okay what's well, just over here and there's all the junk food and so forth 
So that's pretty much it. But you need to try to keep yourself organized so that when you are not scrounging around, looking around in your uh, home and apartment or wherever to find all these products. Now they do recommend you to put this products in their video that says that you can put them in the trunk, but I do not put them in the trunk because I live in Chicago. It could be very hot, humid days and very cold days, which is cool and awesome. And it works fine for these products. But the problem is when it gets really, really hot in Chicago, uh, this product will get really soft and gooey. This one will definitely melt. Uh, and then I had one customer that said, oh, wow, it's all melted. And I said, I'm sorry. And I gave them another bar. Um, the Skittles, I had one passenger open a product and like three or four Skittles were all melted together. So now I do not do that. The gum, I have not had an issue where it would be melted together or so forth, but uh, that's why I put everything here. And then if it's not here, then I go ahead and put it. And then so like in my fridge, this is what I have and it's set on right now, recommended. Uh, you can put coldest if you wanted to, and I leave this as it is. It's not normally closed. I do normally have the door open. Uh, I just put this in right now and uh, basically by in about an hour or so two hours at least two hours those five energies will be nice and cold uh the rest of the stuff to, does take about a good hour to an hour and a half and then the chocolate bars get cold like everything is cold so when you're in your car driving uh everything is nice and clean it's fresh yes it might be cold but you know what it's better cold than having giving them melted products that they actually paid for or that it's uh completely free through cargo so that's the thing there and again as you can see my two usbs my led strip that i have inside so I have two usbs all right kind of understand how it works but let me go ahead and move this tripod and get a little closer you can still see it if you lean over but as you can see it's still kind of dark in the other areas with the dividers the dividers on the inside by default reflect the light as further as it can all the way to mostly to the middle all the way to the back so you'd be able to see some of the other products but also I maxed out this product so you can see I have an extra cheese it it's kind of blocking the light I do have an extra bar here in the front that's blocking the light as well so if we go ahead and remove that you may be able to see a little bit more and there we go now you'll be able to see a little bit more as you can get a little closer and you can see, oh, yeah, you do have additional products. So I've gone ahead and went ahead and add these colors, as I shown you a moment ago, and it makes it a little bit brighter. Now, I have 51 combinations here. Uh, I just have them slowly going through all the different colors. And now people, when they look forward and be like, oh, now I can see everything you have. Okay, great. And then people in the front are able to see this as well. So I only leave it on this specific combination. It works sufficient and fine for me, uh, but it access the lights through many of the different ways. So let me go ahead and add these two products back into it. As you can see on the side here, it kind of blocks the LED light, but I want to have my product as much as possible so that it will show and that I have a full stock availability. Now again, it's just a preference that I have set up. You're uh, possibly more than welcome to do that, but uh, I only did it because my car is limo tinted and it's very dark and they can't really see any of the products that I have in stock. Um, now, the other thing is that I asked um, Cargo That Menu um, that if they can put an option in their site. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in in a moment and I can show you what that looks like. So the other thing in cargo that menu on this specific product, uh, it does get dirty. There's fingerprints everywhere. So I would advise you to clean this, Windex it, wipe dry, <clears throat> uh, a microfiber cloth or so forth. Uh, then you can clean that up and then uh, it'll look much cleaner and better. Uh, the other thing is I put my product every night. I bring it, even though in the instructions in the video, it may say recommended to put it in your in your trunk for storage and so forth. I put it in my car just because I'm in Chicago and the weather here is sometimes cold, which is great. And then other times it's really, really hot. And uh, by the time I get to the car, uh, these candy bars here, uh, I have this uh, Quest bar here. 
that it's I mean it's like melting in in the car in the in the container so what I do is I unplug both of the USB connections I put it into my refrigerator which is the standard recommended size to keep your food cold cold uh, if you want the extreme to keep all your stuff cold in this that is fine too I have not come across any kind of issues with electrical or so forth but again uh, you know these two USB ports, there is a logic board uh, chip in there, uh, so that might uh, cause an issue to it. But my additional lights around here are waterproof and they can go pretty cold and pretty hot and they'll still work.